Hi, Dave here. Thanks for clicking on the link uh, to this video. Really, it's a video asking for help. It's uh, I've been working on a few things over the past couple of months uh, in Scarborough about Scarborough's hidden levels. It's levels below street. And I've also started to do a little research into Stockton and its uh, underground levels. And what I found out with Scarborough is that, you know, I spent a lot of time writing emails to the professional bodies in Scarborough, uh, to which I'd got very little information from. But the most incredible bits of information I actually got from somebody that just stumbled across my videos that happens to know a lot about Scarborough. You know, that was a lad called Kelvin. He really helped me out big star. So really, with... Uh, this very short video I just want to ask if you know you come across any of this evidence or if you've heard any stories in the past about Stockton and its underground levels you may work in a building or a shop that has basement levels uh, you know that has windows and doors that are you know unexplained down there you know a builder you know, renovating a place, uh, old stories, photos, anything like that, really. Because what I'm going to try and do is build up a bigger picture uh, of how extent, how extensive, really, this is around this area. I mean, these are the the telltale telltale signs to look out for. You know, these windows that, uh, you know, have been brought, bricked up on street level. You know, you may have access to buildings in stock, no, yeah, I'm or Billingham or Middlesbrough, whatever, that have these archways that have been blocked up in the past. You know, you could maybe, if you've got access, take a picture and send me the picture and location so I can just add it to the map. These are the telltale signs as well. The iron railings and your tops of windows here. So there's definitely an underground level below there. Uh, regardless of what we're told, there is definitely an underground level. You know, it might all be backfilled in. No, I don't know. But this is why I'm asking for help. You know, this is how extreme it is in Norton Road. You know, these are windows. You might live in a house like that. Uh, you know, just any information at all. It's the old police station in Stockton. Telltale iron railings. The air bricks. Uh, this is an old, oldish picture of Church Road. Well, maybe not that old. But it, it's these telltale signs of your iron railings. I mean, this one here. You've got iron railings, but there's no evidence of windows there. But I bet you, you know, I bet me bottom dollar that there's another level below there. Because I know these buildings up here have a level below. So that's what I want to try and do is, you know, build up a picture of across the Tees Valley Basin, basically, of uh, areas that have underground levels. You know, these are just the things to look out for around, you know, the local towns around here. This is another couple of places that uh, sparked me interest, if anybody knows anything about. This, the Shambles, it's a listed building. Uh, it's listed as one single story brick building. Now, I know that there is rooms underneath there. Now, are there still rooms down there? You know, have the being backfilled in so nobody can get down there. But I do know in the late 70s, uh, there was a chap that used to work for the council and he used to get regular access underneath this place. And he said there is archways that are blocked. You know, there's a, there's a public toilet that's appeared in the high street. I don't know when it appeared, but, you know, did they come along and dig the hole? Or have they done what they've done in so many uh, so many towns 
across the country, and that's Victorian underground toilets. All of a sudden, in the Victorian period, all these underground toilets have been, you know, with a dug out or would they just utilise the space that was there? These are sort of your telltale signs in most towns and cities now. You know, the the disguise pretty well, but these are windows. These are the tops of windows. There's levels below the street. You know, this is how quite often it's, uh, you know, it's not really concealed. It's there for you to see, but I mean, you've got a, a bricked up window here. You know, anything like that that you can supply. This is in Europe somewhere, but I'm not suggesting for one minute stop and go down this far, but this gives you some idea of, you know, how far down some of these uh, buildings go and how, you know, deep in mud they've become. This one. You know, I mean, Stockton's not like that, but I mean, that's a, that's a digger down there. And he's still digging the place out. So, you know, in some parts of the world, it's far greater than others. But, you know, there's, there's been some pretty catastrophic events that, that's happened that cause all this. Right, I'll start and finish off now. Uh, this is basically the tunnels that we think we know about. Uh, I do know the service tunnel that runs right the full length of the high street. Uh, this is the house that started off my interest again with its uh, windows and doors below street level. And really, you know, I went out one afternoon with my camera and all these places with the, you know, the pinkish arrows are areas where there's evidence of levels below the street or level below the street whether it's one or two I don't know and that's why I'm asking for help really so I can uh, possibly you know build up that that bigger picture you know not only in Stockton uh, but you know places like Yarm maybe Middlesbrough Billingham Thornaby you know you might live in a, a an old house yourself whereby you've never really understood why you know there's an eight foot drop underneath the floorboards in your living room and hallway well you know that could be the reason why uh, but anything out of the ordinary that you think might help with me trying to big up this big build up the bigger picture uh, of Stockton uh, and its underground levels or Teesside and its underground levels you know I'm not confined this to Stockton at all you know i know there's definitely evidence of the same type of thing in red car there's definitely evidence in saltburn there's evidence in middlesbrough uh but how extensive it all is i don't know and that's why you know i'm asking for help so what i'll do i'll leave me email address below if you can help out in any way it would be great whether it's pictures whether it's stories uh, you know, I don't want people getting in trouble by taking pictures of things that shouldn't be or going into areas below shops that, where they shouldn't be or whatever. Uh, but it, it's just to help build up the bigger picture and try and find a little bit more about this period in not only Stockton's history. This is a worldwide event. Why it's, you know, it, it's airbrushed out of our history. Uh so that's it for that one thanks again for watching and any help would be greatly appreciated thanks bye